Hi, my name is Rishi Deb and I'm one of the senior buyers here in Commodities and I'm responsible for buying non-seasonal fees out of Africa, Sri Lanka and Indonesia. Hi, today we're going to talk about a grey dragon tea which comes from Indonesia. Uh, Indonesia as an origin uh, is a very old tea origin actually. It is as old as it is in Sri Lanka and India. The industry is nearly 200 years old. And in my mind, uh, I feel a bit sad because it's a very underrated origin which has not been marketed very well uh, in the tea world. But the tea which we're going to talk about is a wonderful tea which is grown in the central hi Java Highlands. It grows uh, in a tea state called Devata, which in local Basa Indonesian language means uh, the land of or the home of the gods and goddesses. It nestles at uh, an altitude of 1,000 to 1,500 meters above sea level, rolling hills, and absolutely breathtaking, and a very picturesque tea state. Okay, uh, the tea which I'm going to talk about is called Grey Dragon, and this comes from Devata Tea Estate in Indonesia. Uh, the history behind this tea uh, is very, very fascinating, and uh, this was way back uh, in. 2000 and I might have got the year wrong, but in 2008, when we went to Indonesia, we almost discovered this tea accidentally. And how we discovered it was uh, we had an order for a white tea, and uh, the guys in Devata were uh, experimenting with a clone called Devata 27, which is a very bespoke uh, plant varietal for this tea state. Uh, they left the white tea um, to oxidize for over two days. And this is what we got, this lovely tea, which is very needle-like. And it has got this excellent black and white texture to it. This is essentially the Devata 27 clone, which is a fantastic clone for giving flavor and style. This is bespoke manufactured for us. They produce just about 80 to 100 kilos a year, all handmade. This is naturally sun dried, so a lot of expertise behind the tea. Okay, uh, there are different ways of doing this. You can have two grams, you can have one spoon, you can have three spoons, uh, but when we come to brew it, uh, you will know this is a very acquired taste. So, what I like is I just take two spoons of this. That's it. And we pour uh, water just coming up to a boil, absolutely ideal. Let me brew it for two minutes. Start done. As you can see, it's a very clear liquor. Okay, if you look at that infused leaf, smell it, it's got a lovely aroma. As I was talking about it earlier, it comes from a very special clone, uh, the Devata 27, and it's a hybrid clone. Uh, what we mean by the hybrid it is a combination of Asamica and Camellia sinensis. Uh, what it does is, the sinensis is a very mellowing factor for the Samica, which is a very thick, strong uh, plant varietal. And when we smell it, it's got a very, very delicate aroma. Look at that. It's fantastic. It's very good leaf integrity. Very needle-like. Fantastic. Right, as you can see, the liquor is very, very light yellow, and uh, 
it's very clear and as I stand in front of it and it's still lukewarm I can get that aroma it is kind of very floral light floral aroma how does it taste very light very delicate it's a cross between uh, oolong and uh, white. It's not as strong as and China oolong, and it is not as delicate as a white. A very very light kind of floral note. It is delicious. Because this is so light and delicate and so mellow, you can have it any time of the day. It, it is so refreshing.